Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Bringing you a magnetic excursion update Thursday, December 18th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. As the magnetosphere breaks down, record-breaking Cat 4 hurricane winds across the West. A lot to talk about. Buckle up, buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. Atmospheric rivers will spread flood threats to Oregon, California after soaking Washington state as predicted. After record flooding in Washington state, then widespread western windstorm, more atmospheric rivers are targeting different parts of the west. And the full forecast is coming up. Here is snow and rain through Monday. You can see some areas picking up up to two feet of snow. Ho, ho, ho. And lots of rain. It's insane. What we know so far about the flooding damage in Whatcom and Skagit, around 800 homes, businesses have sought support from Whatcom Long-Term Recovery Group. And well, you can see from the pictures here that it's not looking so good. Hearts, thoughts, and prayers to all those affected in the Pacific Northwest with these record-breaking weather events. Oregon rain could bring one of the biggest flood events in decades. The atmospheric river hitting Oregon today could bring flooding to upwards of 16 different rivers and creeks across the state in what could become one of the biggest flood events in the past decade, according to meteorologists. We're going to keep a close eye on that. As the atmospheric river moves east, Winter weather advisories issued for 25 Michigan counties with flash, freeze, and snow in the forecast. And if you haven't heard, record-breaking snows in Wyoming yesterday, 144 mile per hour observed winds. And that's not all. Over a half a dozen states with winds exceeding 100 miles per hour. How do you like them apples? Grand solar minimum much? Well, this mostly has to do with the weakening magnetosphere and the breakdown of the jet stream. We would see increased hail and increased winds, and we're getting both of them in just the last few years. And with those high winds, we would see power outages. There were over a half a million yesterday. We didn't do an update because we were quite busy with the holiday season. I apologize. Um... We will be taking some breaks as we move through the new year. And we can still see there is quite a significant amount of power outages across the U.S. Almost 40,000 in Oregon, 37,000 plus in Washington, 21,000 plus in Alabama. Tornado HQ reveals why those Alabama outages are happening. We've got some severe weather warnings and watches out there. Alabama and Tennessee, just a few minutes ago, DeKalb County, Jackson, Madison, Marshall, Morgan, Franklin, and Lincoln. Severe thunderstorm watch is underway as this front moves east overnight. And we've got more pummeling in the Pacific Northwest, some lingering moisture for the East Coast, and a white Christmas for many. And now the full forecast. We are tracking two storms, strong storms crossing the U.S. currently. The storm, which brought high winds, fire weather, and blizzard conditions to the central U.S. through Thursday, will shift to the Great Lakes and Northeast Friday. With gusty winds and rain changing to snow showers, another strong storm will cross the northwest U.S. Friday with heavy mountain snow and gusty high winds. Winter storm watches and warnings are up for the northern tier with blizzard warnings for Iowa and Minnesota. Say it ain't soda. Uh, yeah, but it's true. And that's happening now. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. Al Gore is not happy with the white Christmas forecast. Here is the current GFS model taking us through Christmas Day. And you can see, well, the Northeast and the Central Plains will be in a white Christmas as well as the Rockies and the West. A quick look at the total accumulated precipitation as we move our way through towards Christmas Eve shows that flooding potential for the West, the Pacific Northwest, and Northern California, as well as heavy snow, ho, ho, ho. Seismic update. The West is still rumbling. 
Normal activity worldwide, nothing substantial. Good news there. Worldwide Volcano News. The list has been split tonight, so we're going to just do a short list. We've got Popo tonight to 20,000 feet, 21,000 feet at Purace. Ibu, a volcanic uh, eruption reported today, as well as at Santa Guito Fuego and Saputan. Sun Gay to 20,000 feet here. Semadu, who knew? Now you do 15,000 foot blast. Fuego, ongoing volcanic ash. Reventador as well. Ducono to 7,000 feet. Borache, possible volcanic ash wrapping up the list and bringing us to space weather. Where the disk is completely blank. Yeah, it's an embarrassment, folks. Anyone that predicted there was active regions turning around the limb, they're talking about plages and pinpricks. Yeah, they are not talking about solar science, now are they? Now what we do have is a major equatorial coronal hole number nine headed our way. We'll be here in about three days, geo-effective in five to seven. So we're keeping a close eye on that. As the three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet, flaring has dropped into the B range and it's embarrassing. KP is dropping down towards zero once again. Which means our shields are down and the next Carrington event would hit a very different world. Yes, a technological one. New calculations show a major solar storm could trigger a cascading failure across GPS, communications, navigations, triggering the Kessler syndrome and all of the low Earth orbit satellites re-entering. Yeah, a catastrophe indeed. And a new paper coming out December 10th, let's see if we can get the, no, I'm not going to get it in the screen. I apologize. An orbital house of cards, frequent mega constellation, close conjunctions. Well, it's reporting that things could get very bad very quickly, just like we've been reporting on this channel, which I created these two free educational eBooks for you to download and to share with anyone you want. The first is very inclusive, Cosmic Countdown. The Urgent Guide to Surviving the Universe's Next Catastrophe, absolutely free, nine chapters, 81 sections, and a comprehensive breakdown of what cosmic catastrophe looks like. And the biggest threat is a solar storm. And the small book I published, Storm Warning, The Hidden Dangers of Geomagnetic Storms and Their Impacts on Human Health, is just three chapters and an easy read broken down in layman's terms for all to digest the actual threats that are upon us, what you can do to mitigate them, including prepping for geomagnetic storms naturally, building resilience, strengthening your body, nutrition and diet, herbal, natural remedies, grounding and earthing, creating low EMF environments in your home, emergency preparedness, protecting your electronics, and reducing technological dependence, community and self-reliance, building networks for mutual support and long-term strategies for living in harmony with the solar cycles. Both of the books are free to download and, well, go get them. That's all I can say. And tomorrow night on Magnetic Reversal News on YouTube will be our debut of Flash Frozen Mammoths and their Buttercups. Go get it. Silver hit an all-time high yesterday, almost $67. Yeah, there's no end in sight. Why Gold Co.? Well, they are an industry leader from precious metal IRAs to direct purchases of gold and silver. They've helped thousands of Americans diversify and protect their retirement savings every day. Request your free 2026 gold and silver kit. No obligation, no penalties for switching from 1401k to precious metals. It's that simple. Trust Gold Co. for all your precious metal purchases. And protect your retirement. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video widely. The most important thing you can do for the holiday is subscribe to the channel. And that will be our Christmas present. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Stay out of the wind. Noo noo. Noo.